Good evening, everybody. You're welcome to Digging Deep, 14th April 2020. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, King of Glory, for another time in your presence. We thank you that we are alive and well. We thank you, King of Glory, for making us, Father, Lord, to see another day in the land of the living. We give you praise because you are God. We exalt you because, Father, Lord, we will not wait. Good evening, everybody. You're welcome to Digging Deep, 14th April 2020. Shall we pray? In Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, King of Glory, for another time in your presence. We thank you that we are alive and well. We thank you, King of Glory, for making us, Father, Lord, to see another day in the land of the living. We give you praise because you are God. We exalt you because, Father, Lord, we will not waver in our faith with you. Because we know, Father, Lord, they that put their trust in you would never be put to shame. Thank you, King of Glory, because, Father, Lord, King of Glory, this too shall pass. And, Father, Lord, it will end in praise in the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> As we have come into your presence, we ask oh Lord, that you open our eyes to see you, that you open our ears to hear from you, open the eyes of our understanding, oh Lord. Let us, Father Lord, glean from you, Father Lord, the word of life that is able to make us whole. Father Lord, let us catch the rema in your word. Let our lives not remain the same, even Father Lord, as we hear your words today. And Father Lord, as we do your word in the name of Jesus, thank you for a wonderful time in your presence. Thank you. Because, Father Lord Jehovah, your word will come expressly. And, Father Lord Jehovah, your son that you would use today, you will, Father Lord King of glory, breathe life upon him. And the word, Father Lord, that you speak through him would not be of himself. But, Lord King of glory, even as you open his mouth, Father Lord, you will speak through him. And, Father Lord King of glory, that word of life, Father Lord King of glory, will touch our lives. And, Father Lord, will transform us into the world. Thank you, Father, for
Because he's the Almighty God, is the King of all kings, is the Lord of all lords, is the Am that I am, is the Ancient of days, is the only God who reigns supreme, is the only God who reigns forever. Let's magnify His holy name. Let's bless His holy name. Let's worship Him because He's a faithful God. He's the only living God. Father, we worship You. Father, we honor You. Father, we magnify your holy name. We live tonight. Father, please speak to me. Speak to my situation. Speak to my condition. My God and my Father. Lord, speak to me. Speak to my situation. Speak to the situation of everyone, oh Lord God Almighty, under this ministration. Father, please speak to us. Speak to your children. Speak to me too. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you. Bless me the holy name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Let us pray and say, Father, Father in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus arise, O Lord. Arise, o Lord. Help, me. Help me in the name of Jesus. Let us go ahead and pray in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, please arise and help me. Arise and help me. Arise and help me. King of glory. Please arise and help my family. Arise and help your children. Arise and help us in the name of Jesus. Help us, O Lord God Almighty. We are looking up to you. Father, please help us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Eternal Rock of Ages, we thank you. Father, we worship you because you are the Almighty God. You are the King of Kings. And you are the Lord of Lords. You are the ancient of days. You are the only unchangeable changer. Father, be exalted in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we thank you for another opportunity to hear your word. Be exalted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Tonight, oh Lord, we have come to you because you are the only earth who is ever available. Particularly during this period, oh Lord God Almighty, you are the only present earth. And that's the confidence we have that is making us to come to you. Father, Lord God Almighty, we pray that our expectation will not be cut short in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, Lord God Almighty, every expectation tonight you are going to meet by your word and through your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone, oh Lord God Almighty, who is under this ministration shall rejoice at the end of the day in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you glory. Father, if there be any soul that will be hearing your word through this medium, we is not yet born again. Father, we pray tonight, O oh Lord God Almighty, that you are going to save their souls in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to set the captives free. Amen. You are going to heal the sick. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You are going to do, O oh Lord God Almighty, the miraculous in our lives. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And your word will work in our favor. Amen. Thank you, our Father. You. We give you glory. Amen. Blessed be the holy name, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You are all welcome tonight to Digging Deep Online. And I pray that God Almighty who has gathered us together, to listen to his word will surely minister to us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our topic tonight will be a very present help. A very present help. 
Our text is found in Psalm 46, verse 1 to 7. Psalm 46, verse 1 to 7. If you are there, please shout hallelujah. Psalm 46, verse 1 to 7. It reads, God is our refuge and strength. By the way, I'm reading from the New King James Version of the Bible. God is our refuge and strength. A very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Even though the earth be removed, and though the mountains be carried into the midst of the sea, though its waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with its swelling, with its swelling, there is a river whose streams shall make glad the city of God, the holy place of the tabernacle of the Most High. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God shall help her just at the break of the dawn. The nations raged. The kingdoms were moved. He uttered his voice. The earth melted. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Amen. Amen. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. That's, the, that's the, the, the confidence we have in God. By the way of introduction, I want to quickly tell you that God is not a talkative. Our God is not a talkative. According to Psalm 62 verse 11, Psalm 62 verse 11, God speaks only once. The rest are echoes. God speaks only once. The rest are echoes. A God is not a talkative, he doesn't waste his word. So when he says in the book of Psalm 46, verse 1 that we have just read, I'm your ready heir, just believe he is your ready heir. And God does not also utter a word without a purpose. Whenever God speaks, he has a purpose for speaking. He has a purpose for speaking. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1 says, God has a purpose for everything, including the words that he speaks. Including the words that he speaks. So you can easily say, for every statement made by God, there is a purpose. For every statement made by God in his word, there is a purpose. Therefore, when he said in Psalm 46 verse 1, I am a ready help. He has his own purpose for, it, for, for saying so. God knows that in the word he has created, there will always be a time of trouble. There will always be challenges. There will always be a time like this that the whole world is passing through. He knows ahead of time that a time like this will come. A time like this will come when people will be running at a scatter, looking for shelter, looking for refuge, looking for help. He knows a time like this will come. So he made that word ahead of time so that his own children during this period will be rest assured that the army God is able to help them. Who is able to deliver them. That's why the Lord Jesus Christ said in John chapter 16 verse 33. John chapter 16 verse 33. Jesus Christ said, These things are spoken into you. These things are spoken unto you that in me you shall have peace. That in me you might have peace in this world. You shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Jesus Christ said, even before now, he had already overcome the world. Even before now, he had already overcome every trouble, every problem that may come, every challenge that may that may want to come. Every difficulty that may want to come. He has already overcome for us. Because God, our Father, the maker of heaven and earth, knows there will be a time like this. He knows there will be a time like this. 
So what is God actually saying? What is God actually saying here? What God is saying is, let me not deceive you. Let me not deceive you. There will always be problem in the world. There will always be problem in this life. There will always be challenges. There will always be difficult times. There will always be times when hope will almost be lost. There will be times when men will discover that they are powerless and that the only help they have is me, your God. And I pray for you tonight that your help will be found in the Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. What's God saying here? When he said, I'm ready here. And when Jesus says, I've overcome the world, what he's saying is this, that you are born again. That you believe in the Prince of Peace does not mean absence of troubles. That you are born again, that you are spirit filled, that you believe in the Prince of Peace does not mean absence of troubles. It does not mean absence of difficulties. It does not mean absence of challenges of this world. But what's he saying again? That whatever tribulations may come your way, whatever trouble may come your way, be rest assured, I am there for you. May God be there for you this moment in the name of Jesus. Amen. May He be there for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. What's he saying? He's saying, no matter what comes, be rest assured and cheer up. Let somebody cheer up. And how do you cheer up? Just shout one powerful hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He, said, cheer, he says, cheer up. Cheer up. Because I am ever present to give you victory. I am ever present to give you victory. So if you are fearful, if you are jittery, if you are anxious because of what is going on in the world today, may I assure you by the leading of the Holy Spirit that God is present. He's present with you. He's present to deliver you. So, if you are your family, tell your family members, I will cheer up. And I will not be afraid. I will cheer up. I will not be afraid. Was God sent us when He said, I'm a present He sent us. Have confidence in me because I'm not a man. He sent us. Have confidence in me because I'm not a man. I'm not a man. Have confidence in me. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 7 to 8. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 7 to 8. The Bible says, man is like grass. Man blossoms in the morning and he withers at night. He withers away. What's that telling us? Man is powerless. Man is powerless. But God is saying, like he said in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. God is saying, I remain forever. I cannot wither. I cannot wither. Have confidence in me. Put all your trust in me. People have always said, uh, don't put all your eggs in, this, in one basket or the same basket. With God, my dear brethren, you can put all your eggs in just one basket, the basket of God. And you can be rest assured that your eggs will not be broken and your eggs will not be destroyed. So I pray for you 
the eggs of your life will not be broken. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your life will not be destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. What's God saying to us, my dear brethren? In times of trouble, I will be your refuge. I will be your refuge. I will be a place where you can hide. I will be a place where you can hide. I will be your refuge in times of trouble. And he said, in times of trouble, I will be your strength. I will be your strength. Many, many people in the world are growing weary. Many are saying we are tired. We are even tired of, of lockdown. We are tired of staying at home. But God is saying to you, I will be your strength. If you believe God will be your strength, shout one powerful hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. How we be your strength is our strength. God is our strength. He's ever present. He's ever able to save us. He's ever able to deliver us. And that is why Talking about God as a very present air. When you say somebody is present, it means that person is available. Amen? It means that person is available. And when you now say very present air, it means I'm always available. I'm always available because I'm not a man. Because I am not a man, I'm always available. The New International Version of the Bible, NIV, the New International Version of the Bible describes God as a present heir this way. It describes God as ever present heir. Ever present heir. Because it's not a man. Man can only be present with you for a season. That's the truth. Even husband and wife. Your wife can only be present with you for a season. At your very old age, at least one of you will go. Your husband can only be present with you for a season. At your own very old age, one of you will go. Your children can only be present with you for a season because at this stage, they will get married and leave your house. Praise the Lord. But the ever present air is ever present. It goes nowhere. It remains with you. If you believe him so, it goes nowhere. It remains with you. And that's what the, interna the new international version of the Bible is saying. That because God is not a man, is ever present to help us. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The New Living Translation. The New Living Translation says, God is always ready to help in times of trouble because no, it's not a man. God is always ever ready to help in times of trouble because he's not a man. Listen to me. Man may not always be ready for you. Every man living has what is battling with. Every man on earth has something that is biting him. Every man in life has something he's struggling with. And that is the truth. If all men will be truthful to you, everyone has what is battling with. Everyone has what is struggling with. But this God, this God is always ready because he has overcome every issue that may want to trouble us. In fact, the only thing that bothers God is when man will not see the kind of provision he has made for man. The kind of protection he has provided for man. 
the kind of refuge he has made himself to be for man. Amen? Because God is not a man. He's always available. Man may not always be available for you, my dear brethren. So if you are putting your trust in any man, in any government, during this period, you deceive yourself. The only one that you can put your trust in is this our God. And he said, I am ever available. Hallelujah. Amen. In fact, the messenger version of the Bible, the messenger puts it clearly when he says, God is a safe place to hide us in time of trouble. God is a safe place to hide us in time of trouble. God is ever ready to help in time of trouble. It's a safe place. It's a safe place. Man is never a safe place in time of trouble. At least you have seen what's happening to our people in China. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because man is never a safe place. Strangers in a strange land who are in trouble, they were chasing them out of their hotel. Because man can never be a safe place. Man can never be a safe place. The only one who is a safe place is the one who has said to us, I am a ready app. I am present with you always. I'm ever available. I'm ever available. The question this evening is, where are you hiding? Who have you made your refuge? Who have you made your strength? Who are you looking up to in times of trouble? Who is there to help you? Where are you hiding? Under what protective cover are you now? Where are you hiding, my dear brother, my dear sister? Where are you hiding? There's one who said, I'll be present here. There's one who said, don't bother yourself, I've overcome the world for you. Will you want to come to him? Will you want to hide under his canopy? Will you want to come to him and say, Father, hide me. Hide me. Hide me. I have come for, for strength. I have come for refuge. I have come that you may hide me. Some I'm available. I'm available. I'm available. Come unto me. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We proceed by saying to us tonight that because God is ever present, He has already finished the work. He has finished the work for your deliverance, for your protection. He finished that work over 2,000 years ago. Over 2,000 years ago. I'm excited about this. That somebody knew over 2,000 years ago that there will be trouble in the, on the earth in year 2020. And he has made provision for me. That's great. That's a very great and wonderful thing to be. Hallelujah. Amen. So when Jesus Christ said in John chapter 19 verse 30 when Christ said it is finished it is finished what he was saying is I've concluded the work I've concluded every provision to be your refuge. I've concluded everything I need to conclude to be with you. I've finished it. I'm not just putting it together. The world is looking around for vaccine today against coronavirus. But God said, <laughs> I've already put it together. I've finished it. That's why He can say to you, He can say to me with confidence. I am a very ready help. He didn't just say I'm a ready help. He said I am a very present help. 
I am a very ready help. I am always available because he has finished the work. He has finished it. He has concluded it. My dear brethren, tonight, we are going to continue in this series next Tuesday. But tonight, I want to encourage you to see the picture of what God has done. When he said, I'm a present heir. Can you see the picture of what he has done? He had finished the work to help you. He had finished the work to help you over 2,000 years ago. He has finished it. You want to rise up to maintain the victory he has given. Will you want to rise up to enjoy his ready help? Will you want to rise up to say, Lord Jesus, I'm ready for you. I know you are very, I want to hide under your canopy. I want to hide myself in your secret place. I want to hide myself. I want to hide myself. And that's why I'm making this call. If you are here tonight, if you are listening wherever you, tonight, any part of the world where you are listening to this message, if you are not yet born again, the ready earth is inviting you. The Lord Jesus Christ is inviting you. And he said to you tonight, come unto me. I'm able to solve the problem for you. I'm able to carry your body. I'm able to, to help you. Come unto me. Come unto me. Come unto me. So if you are not yet born again, Jesus is inviting you to the finished work at Calvary. He's inviting you to come and hide under him. He's able to protect you because he changes not. He remains the same all of the time. That's what I'm appealing to you. Forsake your sin. Confess Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Come unto him. For my brethren who are already born again, I'm appealing to you. This is not the time to detach from Jesus. This is not the time to detach from Jesus. John chapter 15 verse 5. John chapter 15 verse 5 says, In detaching yourself from me, in separating yourself from me, you can do nothing. The ready help is sent to you. Remain on my side. Go nowhere. Remain with me. Abide in me. And I'm going to abide with you. This is what God is sent to you tonight. Will you want to abide in the Lord? This is not the time to backslide. And I pray you will never backslide in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because in the world, there's too much tribulation. There's so much trouble. But our God, our present heir, the one who made you, the one who made me, the one who is ever ready to make himself available, says to you and to me, share up. I overcome the world. I overcome the world. I overcome the world. I overcome the world. Come and stay on his side. And he's going to say, he's going to deliver. By the special grace of God, we we'll continue next week to see the provision he has made for us. That gave him the confidence to say, <laughs> I've overcome the world for you. We want to see the provision he has made that gave him the confidence to say, I'm a very present here. And we are going to continue next week. But right now, I want us to rise and pray to God. If you are listening to us and you have not given your life to Jesus, I appeal to you this moment, please surrender your life to Jesus. If you are backsliding and you have gone back, I'm appealing to you, please come back to the Lord. One way or the other, please find a way to get your name, your location, your prayer point to us. And I can assure you, we'll be praying for you and I believe God that our Father and the Lord, Pastor Yadeba, will also be praying for you. This moment, Please rise up and do so. This moment, I want us to pray, brethren, 
I just want us to lift up our voices unto God and begin to thank Him for the word He has sent to us. Let's thank God for the word He has sent to us tonight. Let's bless His holy name for the word He has sent to us. Father, thank You for the word You have sent to us. Thank You for Your word. Thank You for Your word of life. Thank You for assuring us. Thank You for reassuring us that You are present here. Thank You, our Father. Thank You, King of Glory. Because we have this confidence in You that You have overcome the world for us. You have overcome the troubles of this life for us. You have overcome every challenge, every difficulty for us. Oh, thank you for overcoming for us. Over 2,000 years ago, you overcame. Oh, Lord, we give you glory. Oh, Lord, we give you honor. Oh, Lord, we magnify your holy name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your holy name. My dear brethren, let's go ahead and say, Father, thank you for making yourself a refuge unto me. Thank you, Father, for making yourself a refuge unto me. Oh, I find a place to rest. I find a place to hide myself in time of trouble. Oh, Father, Lord God Almighty, thank you for making yourself a refuge to me. Oh, to my family. Oh, to your children who are praying right now. Thank you, Lord God Almighty, for making yourself a refuge to us. Ah, Baba, we worship you. We worship you. We magnify your name. Blessed be that holy name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And brethren, let's thank God for making himself our strength this moment. Though we are weak. Though we are weak. But God said, I'm your strength. So we are strengthened. Let's thank him and say, Father, thank you for being my strength. 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 Thank you for being my confidence. Thank you for being my hope. Oh, even during this period. Father, I thank you. Father, Lord God Almighty, I give you glory. Thank you for being my strength. Thank you for being my hope. Thank you for being my confidence. Even during this period. Father, I give you glory. Father, I magnify your name. Blessed be thy holy name. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we are prayed. Oh, my dear brother, I want us to pray and say, Father. In the name of Jesus, arise, O Lord, defend me, defend me, during this period, defend me, defend my family, defend my loved ones, defend your church, defend us, O Lord, please pray, my dear brethren. Masatelidia Kashanta, Baba, Recampa Soto Libra Kashanta, Father, in the name of Jesus, please arise and defend me, King of glory. You are my God and my Father. Please arise and defend me. Defend my family. Defend your children who are praying all over the world. Defend us during this period. In the name of Jesus. Lord, defend us. King of God, defend us. Lord of God, defend us. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you. Blessed be thy name. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. Father, let us pray and say, Father, Father in, the in the name of Jesus, I believe you. I believe and in the name of Jesus, every difficulty, every challenge, every tribulation, every difficulty in this life, oh Lord, I overcome them now. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I overcome. I overcome. Pray in the name of Jesus, I overcome. Oh, Mashaka Kiriyabaka Sonto. Father, I believe you. When you say you are my refuge, when you say you are my, you are my help, I believe you. When you say you are my very present help, I believe you. Father, arise, O Lord God Almighty. Father, arise, O Lord God Almighty. Father, give me the grace and the power to overcome every tribulation of this life, every challenge of this life, every, every difficult situation of this life. Father, give me that power in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And my dear brethren, I want us to pray and say, Father, Father you are my God. You are, God. You are ever available. Are available. During, this During this period in the world, oh Lord, oh Lord. I call upon you. Be available. Be available. Be available for me, for my family, for your children, for my loved ones. Oh Lord, be available. Prove your word. Prove your word. Prove your word. Make yourself available. Oh, my Satanira Kashanta. Makora 
Rabakasongo di Ragashenki. Father, in the name of Jesus, Jehovah, in the name of Jesus, King of God, in the name of Jesus, O oh Lord God Almighty, you are my God. You know a time like this will come in the world. Father, so you have made yourself available. Father, I call upon you tonight. Father, please arise. Make yourself available. Oh, prove your word. Prove your word. Make yourself available for me. Make yourself available for every member of my family. Make yourself available. Oh, Lord God Almighty, for all your children. Make yourself available for the word in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we are praying. And finally, we are going to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, arise and overcome this demon. Overcome this demon. God, coronavirus. Overcome it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, because you say it is finished. You say it is finished. So it is finished of coronavirus. Overcome it for us. In the name of Jesus. Father, Makasa Tony Abakashanda. Arise, O Lord. King of God, arise. Overcome this demon. God, coronavirus. Father, overcome by your blood. Overcome it by your blood. Overcome it by the blood of Jesus. Father, overcome the world. Overcome for the world. Overcome this demon. Come for the world for the world. In the name of silence it, O Lord. Silence it, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Baba, silence it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. 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 Before we pray finally and we go, please take a good offering tonight. Because the one who said, have ever presence is present to receive. receive your sacrifice. Is present to receive. You can be rest assured that it's going to return with air back to you. So take a good offering and make sure your offering is sent to your the account of your local parish. Wherever you are listening to me, please pay your offering to the account of your local parish. Let us do that with the joy of the Lord in our hearts. Abraham's blessings are mine. Blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening because Abraham blessings are mine. Hallelujah. Abraham blessings are mine. Hallelujah. Abraham blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening because Abraham blessings are mine. Father, we thank you. For the offering of your children. Father, we pray that you please accept this offering. Amen. Use it for your glory. Amen. To everyone who has given. Father, Lord God Almighty, please bless all of us in return in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, you have spoken tonight. That you are present, a very present help in trouble. Father, in the name of Jesus, we call upon you, arise and prove yourself. Amen. Prove yourself. Amen. Be our very present end. You have overcome the world for us. Let it be evident in every life of all of us that you have indeed overcome for us. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Glory be to your holy name. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God will be and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will join the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Let somebody. I don't want to sing the latest song I 
don't want to percolate the ground I just want to make you smile I don't care who thinks I'm right or wrong I don't care who tries to calm me down I just want to praise you now You covered me In the midst of it all You love me You gave me another chance you saw my needs When others saw my faults You forgave me I don't have to listen for my name They don't have to walk me down the aisle I just want to make you proud Should I make the Hall of Fame Or they save a special seat I just hope that you'll be pleased You come In the midst of it all You love me Gave me another chance you rescued me I was going to fall, going to fall You saved me So in my life Be glorified the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor, I just want to say, you get the glory, you get the praise, take all of the honor, I just want to say, I want you to get the praise You take the honor I just want to say You get the glory Father, you get the praise You take the honor I just want to say 